Mexico is our third largest trading partner. It exports goods to the U.S. worth nearly $63 billion more than it imports. That statistic is what President Trump keeps targeting. But it doesn't tell the whole story. Steve Leisman puts the pieces together. To hear President Trump tell it, the U.S. is losing ground relative to Mexico and China on the wealth front. Here's President Trump from a meeting with Harley Davidson last week. We're redoing NAFTA. We're doing a lot of our trade deals. And we're negotiating properly with countries, even countries that are allies. A lot of people taking advantage of us. A lot of countries taking advantage of us. But the data tell a different story. The U.S. is actually pulling away from Mexico, and it will take decades for China to even get close. U.S. per capita GDP is around $52,000. That compares with just $10,000 for Mexico and $6,200 for China. So it's five times greater in the U.S. than Mexico and more than seven times greater than in China. We have been the world's number one economy for over 100 years. And in that time, we've accumulated just enormous wealth. Um, China is becoming a very prosperous and advanced country, but she's had about 20 years uh, in which she's been able to really accumulate wealth. The gap with Mexico, that's the blue bars, narrowed from 2006 to 2012, but it's widened the past three years. That is, whatever the unfairness in trade deals may be, the U.S. is getting wealthier relative to Mexico. Same story with China. It narrowed and has begun to widen yet again. For Mexico, it's a story of a bad education system and poor productivity of the average worker. Their northern manufacturing areas that do a lot of the exports do much better, but it's not enough to create convergence between U.S. and Mexican wealth. China's growth has slowed, but it's still higher than the U.S. It means that they're on track to catch up. But it will be 20 years for per capita GDP to just be on par with where Mexico is right now relative to the U.S. That is, 20 years from now, U.S. per capita GDP will still be five times greater than in China. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Steve Leisman.